Objective three, identify lurking and confounding variables. Definition, a lurk is a variable that causes both the explanatory and response variable to change during the study. A confounding variable is a variable other than the explanatory variable that causes a change in the response variable during the study. A well-designed careful planning so that there are as few confounding or learn possible. For the following studies, identify some confounding or lurking variables. A. Researchers having a television in the bedroom is linked with obesity. Researchers administered a questionnaire to 79 12-year-olds in the United States. After analyzing results, the researchers determined that the adolescents who had a television was significantly higher than that of adolescents who did not have a television room. The explanatory variable was the TV in the room. The response was the body mass index. So the confounding would be lack of physical activity, which would then have the response of the BMI. The lurking would be money, meaning the TV in the room. Part B. Researcher Penny Gordon Larson and her associates want to determine whether young couples who marry or cohabitate are more likely to gain weight than those who stay single. The researchers followed 8,000 men and women from 1995 through 2002 as they matured from the teens to young adults. When the study began, none of the participants were married or living with a roommate. In 2002, 14% of the participants were married and 16% were living with a partner. At the end of the study, married or cohabitating women gained on average 9 pounds more than single women, and married or cohabitating men gained on average 6 pounds more than single men. So in this example, we can see that uh, the lurking variable would be, you know, or confounding would be more free time, pregnancy, relationship complacency. Another example, redesign an observational study into a well-designed experiment. A researcher wants to determine whether taking vitamin C helps people avoid getting the flu and the common cold. She randomly selects 100 people and asks them whether they take vitamin C and how often they had the flu or a cold in the past year. The researcher analyzes the responses and concludes that vitamin C helps people avoid the flu and colds. Number one, describe some problems with the observational study, including your description at least one possible lurking or confounding variable and identify which type it is. One problem is that there might be a lurking variable. Individuals who take vitamin C might take good care of themselves in other ways, such as eating a healthy diet, getting enough sleep, getting a flu shot, or exercising. So taking good care of oneself might both cause a person to take vitamin C and cause a person to avoid getting sick. Another problem is that there might be a confounding variable. The placebo effect of taking vitamin C might help individuals avoid getting sick. Yet another problem is that there might be response bias. Individuals might give false information because they have forgotten times when they are sick. Number two, redesign a study so that it is a well-designed experiment. We can address the lurking variable, taking good care of oneself, by randomly assigning individuals to the treatment group and the control group. We can address the confounding variable, placebo effect, by giving the control group a placebo, sugar pill, and making the study single blind. We could improve the experiment further by making it double blind. We could address the, the response bias, forgetting by having all individuals keep a daily journal of their health.